Hello, this is Lee Anthony Davis making another announcement video on my YouTube channel. Uh, the time is fast approaching. I won't tell you what the time is, it's very late. It's right in the early hours of the morning, so I'm sorry about the lateness of the video. But before, uh, well, obviously today is uh, Sunday the 24th of September. Uh, before I start with the announcements and what I do on here, I just want to make a point quickly. Uh, as you notice, on the Lost in Space uh, video, my last one, uh, the comment section's been turned off. Now, I can tell you, it wasn't done by me. It was done by YouTube. Uh, the YouTube police, I call them. Uh, the anagram police. Uh, the algorithm. Uh, something was not liked on there, and they uh, shut the comments down for that video. But I'm sure uh, whoever's done it has gone... Because it... With, this is how it works. Somebody has to report it, right? That's how they that's how they know about it. Uh, so somebody got pissed off with me. I don't care who it is. Don't come back because I'll kick your ass out of it. I'm telling you. Uh, basically, uh, somebody's gone uh, to uh, YouTube because uh, of complaints and all that rubbish. Uh, and they uh, basically uh, didn't like a comment on there and and they've shut, uh, shut the comment off. They haven't shut the video off. <laughs> they can't find a fault with that. But they shot the comments off so you couldn't comment about it. Uh, but I'm sure this time, uh, obviously I've got to check the comments to make sure they're okay. Otherwise, if they're derogatory or anything, I could get sort of, uh, again, uh, muted. <laughs> but that's what's happened. It's like the Nazis in the 1930s, isn't it, really? Uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't operate without the help of the community. Without the community, they were buggered. So... Don't believe all that myth about they were everywhere. They weren't. Uh, they're were only a small band of people, uh, and they needed to. Uh, they needed the cooperation of others, uh, who obviously did it for their own ends. And, and this is the same thing, really. Uh, reporting to the uh, police, to to uh, sort of, uh, uh, well, to sort of uh, sort of st uh, stifle my fucking uh, uh, videos and stuff. But it won't work because uh, you'll you'll never stop me. I will always come back. So uh, doing that, because I, I booted off somebody uh, quite a bit ago, uh, and I think it could be that person, you know, who knows? <laughs> anyway, I'm getting I'm getting that out of the way. It's done now. So that's re one of the reasons why uh, the comments shot was shot down. It wasn't shot down by me. I can assure you. All right. Uh, so <laughs> I know it's a bit silly to relate that to the Nazis, but it's it does have the same feel to it. A little bit of power for the person that did it or whatever. Anyway, never mind. Uh, moving on, right, this is where I do my announcements section, uh, group of the day, contributor of the day, birthday announcements, uh, also uh, some Dot2 news to tell you about, and then it's the updates on my page group and Instagram, moving on to my Dot2 Who merchandise, and then it's uh, the Dot2 quiz question, pardon me, uh, and the answer from yesterday, and of course uh, a new Doctor Who quiz question coming up. Uh, at the end of this, and also what's coming up. Right, moving on, uh, do this quickly. Uh, group of the day for Saturday, the 23rd of September, goes to the official Jerry Anderson group. Remember Jerry Anderson, responsible for Stingray, Thunderbirds, uh, Fireball, XL5, or whatever, uh, and all those great puppet shows uh, that he did. Uh, there's so many of them. Oh, there, Captain Scarlet, not forgetting that. Uh, he was responsible for that. And there's, there's a group called uh, the Official Jerry Anderson Group. Very good group. It's got all the facts and figures. And all the members on there are really dedicated to that group. There's quite a few on there. I won't tell you how many is there. But it's a good group. And if you want to join it, it's on Facebook. Right, so their group of the day. Uh, Contributor of the day is, goes to Sean Ashton uh, for Saturday, the 23rd of September. Well done to him. Uh, so I'll post these both up on Instagram, my Instagram, uh, Facebook, obviously, uh, also going uh, on my Twitter and also my story. Right, well done to them. Right, moving on, it's birthday time. Uh, there's three people celebrating their birthdays and they start with uh, Kirk McKenna, Jason Childs and someone I know very well who's on my group, so she'll be getting a good write-up today from me later on when I go on Facebook and my groups. Uh, Tracy Hodge, well done to her. Have a happy birthday, my love. And to the other two, of course. Right, moving on, Doctor Who news. Now, it's been confirmed. I knew this. I'm, I put this in my videos about six videos ago or seven before it even came out. I knew the Celestial Tour Maker was uh, going to be confirmed as a villain. 
he hasn't appeared in it since 1966, uh, played by Michael Gott. Uh, he was going to appear in it in 1986, but with the hiatus and everything, with the Colin Baker thing, uh, they had the stories ready. I think it was when he was going to go to Blackpool with Perry, uh, in and then they were going to do these 12 stories, which included Ice Warriors and whatever but it never got to the uh table they wrote the stories i think uh, they ended up writing uh doing it on big finish and stuff which is good uh but unfortunately they never got to the tv uh uh screens or whatever which is a sad thing really because i think there, there might have been a lot of scope there for colin baker to work with and i think it could have been sort of uh, mesmerized his situation than what it was uh, obviously he was sort of uh, it was a political decision to get rid of him as you know uh, nothing to do with him it wasn't nothing to do with him he's a brilliant actor it was to do with the, the political uh, malarkey that was going on at the time with the head of the BBC and JNT and all that anyway let's not go down that road uh, yes it's confirmed Nigel uh, Neil Patrick Harris is obviously the Celestial toy maker. we all knew that I confirmed it about six videos ago I just said it was going to be the Celestial toy maker, and I knew it the big giveaway, as I said, was the clowns. You know what? You know the clowns now. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. 1966. I saw the I saw the adventure, uh, the celestial toy maker, and he had a lot of clowns and toys and everything. It's basically now he's going to trap the Doctor on Earth. Right. So there you go. Uh, something else that I already knew uh, that hasn't been mentioned was Catherine Tate's character Donna Noble, uh, who's returning to the 60th anniversary. Uh, is actually getting her memory back. I knew that because uh, when they said uh, it's going to end horribly for her, in other words, remember when the David Tennant was playing the Doctor all those years ago uh, in his first time around? He said, if Donna ever remembers, she will die. Uh, so obviously uh, there's a clue there, isn't there? So she's going to remember. And uh, I think uh, I did say, I, I mean, I'm not one for... Uh, sort of jumping ahead but i think they're going to kill her character off or they're going to sort of i don't think they're going to bring her back uh i think this is her swan song to finish i think this is what they're doing they're just sort of winding down with this doctor and whatever but they are going to kill her character i'm sure they are because if she remembers she dies <laughs> simple as that so i don't that is the plot anyway uh so uh stay tuned with this channel for more news on that Right, OK. And also, if you remember, uh, it was Billy Piper uh, who, who used to play Rose uh, in 2005, 2006 and 2008. And for the uh, two doctors, David Tennant and Matt Smith and John Hurt, uh, centenary, uh, 50th of, uh, is it six, no, 50th anniversary, that's right, in 2013. Uh, she was in that as well. She hasn't been in it since, uh, but she was celebrating her 41st birthday on the uh, on Friday the 22nd of September. Well done to her. Uh, I don't think she'll ever return to Doctor Who. I think sometimes uh, for, for all, they don't want to be stereotyped, and I think she's done her bit, and uh, now she's made a name. She's got she's got parts coming in all over the place. She can do. She doesn't really need to go back to Doctor Who. And I think at the end of the day, uh, it's like everything else, isn't it? You know, you, you do it and you move on. Like Chris Eccleston, he's done it, he's moved on. I prefer Chris Eccleston not to come back because I want to remember him for the first series. That's how I want to remember him. I don't want to remember him coming back as an old, because so, he'd be old now when he's very old. Then he was young. Remember, it was about 2005 when he was doing it. So he was younger then. I think he was in his uh, 40s, late 40s. But now he'd be in his late 50s, 60s or whatever. Uh, but he's still he's still good for uh, for the the audios, uh, which is a good thing. It's nice to see extra adventures coming out from all those actors that used to play the character. But anyway, Neil uh, Billy Piper celebrated the twenty second birthday, and and a nice touch this. David Tennant and all the rest of the Doctor Who crew made a, a special video, uh, wishing wishing a, a happy birthday. So that was bloody good, wasn't it? Uh, so anyway, well done, well done, Billy Piper. Who celebrated her birthday on Friday. Right, moving on. Doctor Who merchant, uh, uh, sorry, updates. Now, this is important. Uh, I've had some uh, new developments. Uh, here we go. I'll tell you. My Doctor Who page, the Leanne Davis Doctor Who page, uh, has moved up to 50, uh, it's now 55, 55 followers on there. 
Uh, also, my uh, group has now improved. It's gone up to 75. And my Instagram account has gone up to, to 95. So, brilliant. Thank you very much for... Uh, for following me liking it or joining or whatever and also thank you to all some new sub, uh, subscribers that have subscribed to my uh, youtube channel here thank you very much i do appreciate it. i really do uh, it's it's because of you that this these videos and lost it and i put all, uh, uh, all this good stuff on here uh, is because you enjoy it and the more you come on the more i'll put it on you know uh, i'm not afraid to uh, find myself up against the copyright act i will do it uh so thank you very much uh i'll tell you when i'm getting close to 200 subscribers so that's that's fantastic uh but anyway i'm not going i'm not one to bloat about it so i'm not going to go on about it but thank you very much all right uh anyway moving on uh doctor who merchandise here we go uh i've got uh a tom baker one there there you go I'll uh, go through these quickly because when you've seen one magazine, you've seen them all. But that's the one with Tom Baker on. Um, the next one is when Jodie Whittaker was a doctor with her arm out, that legendary arm. <laughs> she used to do all that with the arm like that. And I think it was done with David Tennant and Matt Smith uh, did that. Uh, anyway, uh, there you go. Peter Capaldi and uh, the mummy there with, uh, if you can see Clara just in the background there. Uh, I was that annoying kid at the bottom. <laughs> uh, here we go, uh, Sylvester McCoy <laughs> and uh, Sophie Aldred there. There you go. And finally, another one with the legendary arm out with Jodie Whittaker. There you go. <laughs> right, that's all my magazines. Uh, I'm going to be uh, moving on to some other merchandise tomorrow. I haven't decided what, but I'll let you know straight away on the next video. Okay, then. Thank you for watching that. Uh, uh, moving on to, uh, yes, it's quiz time. Uh, yesterday, I asked which actor, which actor played William Hartnell in the uh, 20th anniversary of the, uh, called The Five Doctors, because uh, obviously William Hartnell passed away in 1975, so he wasn't going to be, uh, he, <laughs> they weren't going to ask him back, were they? Uh, so uh, they got William Hundle, William Herndle, sorry, William Herndle. Uh, he sadly died a year later in 1984 and the significant thing about William Herndall playing William Hartnell was that he never got paid. Seriously, he never got paid for the job. Uh, so he did it for free really, uh, which is quite good of him. Uh, he never made a fuss about it. It was a good, one of those type of actors that enjoyed acting. Uh, but sadly he died in 1984, April 1984 at the age of 73. But at least, at least people can enjoy him playing William Hartnell, you know, when you watch The Five Doctors. Uh, anyway, uh, you got, I've got a Doctor Who quiz question for you. Now, I've got to do this at the top of my head. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got one for you. Uh, Elizabeth Sladen, in 1970, uh, she appeared in The Time Warrior, 1973, as you know. What cop show... Did she appear in? Uh, she appeared in it twice actually before ninety before she got the part. Which cop show on BBC One did she appear in as a prostitute? <laughs> yeah, she played a prostitute. Uh, but what 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 was the name of the cop show? It's obviously defunct now, but uh, a lot of actresses, even Katie Manning, was in that. Uh, but like I said, Sir Elizabeth Sladen was in that before she was off the part of Doctor Who. She was in it twice. She was in it in 19... And I also to let you know, uh, but I want to know the TV cop show. Uh, it was a famous cop show uh, in the 70s, 60s and 70s, but she was in that in 1971. Anyway, and also tell you, she appeared with Michael Crawford in uh, Some Mothers Do Have Them. Uh, she played a grocer uh, and Frank was uh, mucking about with all the fruit <laughs> and she had it all stacked up and then... Uh, <laughs> oh, it's it, it's hilarious. That shows you the talent of Elizabeth Slade, and it does uh, how she uh, manages to keep a straight face. <laughs> it's good that I think it's in the very first uh, episode of Some Others Do Have. Some people have seen it, but I, I I always remember that. It's really funny. But anyway, the the main thing I, I was asking was which television cop show did Elizabeth Slade appear in before she got the part.
Sarah Jane Smith in Dot Two. That's it. Right, coming up, uh, I thought uh, I mentioned it, Lost in Space, uh, the cliffhanger will be going up very shortly. And also, I wanted to tell you before I go uh, about my new page and group uh, that will be uh, coming out on Facebook very shortly. I've already got one, as you know, the uh, Doctor Who one, Lee Anthony Davis, the Doctor Who page and Lee Anthony Davis, the uh, Doctor Who group. Now I'm bringing out a new uh, page and group called the Lee Anthony Davis, the Sarah Jane uh, page and the Anthony Davis to Sarah Jane group uh, that's coming out in a few weeks I haven't quite finished the structure yet but it's it's getting there I always start on these very early so if I've got another group I would have started that about four or five weeks before so I'm just telling you about it now that's an exclusive right uh, and I'll keep you informed on the details on that as as we go along in the next few weeks or so right okay then that's it from me keep an eye out for lost in space the cliffhanger coming up very shortly uh, on my channel here and uh, I'll see you probably at not the same time as this uh, a little bit earlier hopefully but until then it's goodbye from me and look after yourselves thanks thanks a lot bye for now